And in fact, all of the energy that is released, even by, uh, by atomic physics, sure, certainly in atomic reactions, is equals mc squared. And that, that I think most people are, have heard of and are use, used to. But also in chemistry and in chemical bonds, that in those chemical bonds, there is a change in mass. When you take a hydrogen and an oxygen, and you burn them and you combine them into water, there's a change in mass. Now, that change per atom and per molecule is actually so small that it's extremely hard to measure, but, but it's still there. And that's the energy that is released and you can quantify that. We use uh, units of electron volts um, as a unit of what is the energy in atomic processes or chemical processes. Can you also just speak to the, the different fuels that you mentioned, both on the fusion and the fission side? So uranium, plutonium for the fission, and then the hydrogen isotopes for the fusion. So for fission, uranium and plutonium, we don't make those nuclei. Those right now for humanity, those have been made in the primordial universe through super, supernova and big bang um, and the initial formation of the universe where matter was created. And so we dig those up. 